Hi, quick video to show you how to generate random numbers from between values of like a, a given choice. At the moment this is generating numbers between 0 and 800, which is the size pixels of this screen. 800 by 480. Uh, and then you see I've got like snowflakes just scattered randomly over the place depending on what the random number returns. Well, the random number actually on Micro C Pro for PIC or Micro C Pro for PIC32, the random number generator gives you values from 0 to somewhere in the region of 32,000, but I only wanted 800, so I'll show you how to do it. So I've got, I've got this in green for another reason. Once you understand what I'm doing with the random numbers and then this color, uh, you'll then get an understanding of how they, they run the matrix code using uh, these microcontrollers and these TFT screens. I was curious and had a look at the code and sussed it from there. So what I'll do, I'll just change the code, get rid of these snowflakes, cut it over here and what I'm going to do is start changing the intensity of this green and I'll show you how to do it in a minute. We'll be using the command uh, or the function TFT RGB color to 16 bit. Right, I've altered the code. Uh, before I forget, the random number generator, it's also, apart from we're giving the conversion here to a string, int to string, getting the number here, we've also got it outputting on port A. So that's why you see these random different LEDs coming on, it represents the random number that's been generated. Right, so now I've, I'll show you this uh, code in a minute. We've changed this uh, RGB to 16 bit, RGB color 16 bit, uh, and we're just concentrating on the green. We're leaving the reds at zero and blues at zero. And now the number generated, uh, the higher the number generated, the higher the intensity. So you see, sometimes you can't see it. And that's when we've got numbers less than 30. Uh, so you see 236 was quite bright. 180 to 234 or 254 was quite bright and then the, the smaller the number the lower the intensity that's the trick they use to um, generate the matrix code uh, which I'll show you in a minute uh, and you see the obviously the random LEDs coming on and now I've changed the number from 800 down to 255 so we've only got random numbers coming across up to 255 being displayed there and hopefully you you can see that intensity vary and it will all make sense when you see the matrix code. Right I'll move you to the screen and then you can see the code. Right here we go make sure you're watching in HD otherwise you won't be able to read this. So I've got the normal screen configuration as with all the other colour TFT setup so I'm not going to bother or worry you with that. So look, we're filling the screen black, and then so it's a, a while one loop, so continually looping. And these are the two um, vars or variables to get my random number. So the first one, like I, is 30 to 800. 30 was so the colour didn't drop below 30, or the intensity didn't drop below 30, so you'd be able to see it. Um, I is less than or equal to 800, which is the width of the screen, and then I++. Plus plus. And then my other variable, J, was for the screen height, 480. So J equals 0, uh, less than 480, J++. Plus plus. And this is the how you get the random number. So as I say, the rand is something like 32,000. Uh, I haven't got time to pull it up. But I only wanted 800, so you can see I equals, so it's a random number percentage of, and I had 800 there, I've just changed it to 255 as uh, that last demonstration, and then the J, random number, whatever that random number uh, result returns is a percentage of 480, which is the screen height. And this is the clever bit for the intensity, so look at it on. As I say, I'm using this is actually Micro C Pro for PIC32. Uh, so look, I've got color intensity, 
equals TFT RGB color to 16 bit. So this is the red, this is the green, and this is the blue. So we're leaving the reds and blues at zero and we're focusing on the green. Hopefully you can see that. Then you see set font, that's my font, except when we're, we're not calling it a color, we're calling it the color intensity. So because we've got the eye placed in the green position, we've got the font set to color intensities. So it's always going to be green, but varying intensities because of that figure there. Uh, this is the conversion, the integer to string. Uh, so the like I to string and then TFT write text string 400, 300. Then we're actually writing it again black so you, you don't see the figures changing, it clears it, writes a new number. And then my actual snow is using this uh, windings. Uh, font which is just random characters things like a mouse and arrows and hands and uh, the letter T is actually a snowflake or capital T is a snowflake so you can see I'm writing the snowflake at I and J so depending on what the random numbers were it's putting the snowflakes at different places and then we're saying the port is equal to I so different LEDs come on at different times Right, now you, that's the code, now you've seen that. When you get hold of the copy of the matrix code, it will all become clear. So the matrix code, in case you haven't found it, is if you use micro C, go to the top of the screen and then find it under Libstock Developer Community. Um, I forget the guy's name, someone's developed the matrix code and put it on there. So if you've got micro C, use micro C, go and have a look at the code. It's very smart. I forget the guy's name, but clever man. Well, here we have the matrix code. I forget the guy's name, as I say. But I believe they're, these are Chinese characters, or certainly not English. If I had the time, I could use the font developer, which is free with uh, free from Microelectronica. I was a GLCD font creator, which is good for TFTs as well. I believe this is a, like a Chinese looking font or just random font. Well, so you can see random characters being generated and random intensities. So now you know how the intensity works. Uh, and you can just see they're picking various columns, uh, scrolling down, plotting different characters from between 32 and 127. This is normal sort of 0 to 9 and A to Z, including capitals and lowercase. If I had the time, I could run through these characters and build bigger ones. These are actually only 19 by 19, but it's only a display. And so I take my hat off to the guy who did this. As I say, his code and name is on Libstock, um, which is a forum done by Microelectronica, I believe. Um, go and have a look at it. Works well. Anyway, so hopefully this video has taught you a couple of things with random numbers and messing with the intensity of colours. Thank you very much.